Hello everyone, welcome to the Spark Your Workshop. This is our second uh, Spark Your Workshop that we are going to follow. This is Lakshit, I'm the Spark Your Creator and I've been doing this Spark Your Workshop since very long. And uh, let's, uh, you know, make some cool AR effects. Let's start your AR journey today. And I'm teaching you and how you can get started with all these, you know, key, uh, you know, resources, but are the resources you have to follow, how we can just, you know, make your some cool AR effects, how we can just, you know, Make your own content out of it. You can just make some revenue, real revenue out of your Spark your effects. So let's get started. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. So I'm just sharing my screen, guys. Please let me know if my screen is visible to you all. Guys, I hope my screen is visible to you all. So yes. So basically, Spark your is something that you know. So when we talk about the Spark here, Spark is an augmented reality tool offered by Facebook. And you know, Facebook is focusing, Facebook is uh, driven to build the metaverse. And definitely they are giving so many emphasis to the metaverse because it's the future and everything is going to be virtual. And pandemic has shown us some more couple of examples are there where you know you can just analyze NFTs that point to all these terminologies that are coming to the market, has you know proved that the uh, metaverse is the future, and definitely because it's cost saving. Yes, you know, uh, you know what you can say. It's operation saver. You don't have to follow the operations. You just have to make it everything virtually, everything digitally available. So this is all about the Spark AR, the metaverse. Now talking about the Spark AR, but Spark AR can get you so every filter that you see in your Instagram, in your Facebook, or in your messenger. Every filter that you see, every filter is created using the Spark AR. Every filter. I hope you all use Instagram like money is here, money, 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 right? I hope you guys are, you know. Uh, you guys have used Instagram in your, uh, you know, past, or you are using Instagram right now. So every filter that you see over there is, you know, created using Spark AI. Now, what are the future benefits and why you should learn Spark AI? So this, this is the very basic question I get when you know. Uh, so I'm a Spark AI trainer, so I usually frequently get this question very frequently. Like, what are the future policy, uh, you know, future avenues? Why should I learn Spark AI? Now, to be very honest, Spark AR gives you the flexibility to work remotely. You can work from anywhere of the world. So if I'll just show you the insights of my Spark AR, uh, you know, studio. So the filters that I've created, you can see the filters that I've created. So I'm just showing you the filters that I have created using the Spark AR. You can see what are the insights, what are the reach, but how what's the number that I reached through my Spark AR filter. I won't be able to, you know, reach this number. This is 1,55,000. My filters has been opened 1,55,000 times. And trust me guys, this is a very small number. To be very honest, there are some more amazing creators in India globally who are doing very excellent in the field of Spark here. And they are helping the you know beginners like you to get started with your Spark here journey. Now, just imagine, so there was a hackathon just a couple of weeks back. So it was organized by, it was, you know, there was a brand challenge where you have to prepare some, you know, Spark AR effects for the brands, like, uh, you know, Rage Coffee. Uh, Rage Coffee is basically Virat Kohli's funder startup and something like Ease My Trip. So these are, are the brands that have participated in this Spark AR hackathon. And believe me, guys, one of the our creator, creator's filters got selected. He won the hackathon and his filter was posted by Virat Kohli on his story. That this man has created this amazing, super amazing filter. This is kind. This is the fame that you can get using this Spark AI. This is the power of Spark AI that you can even explore, that you can watch around you. So you can do anything, whatever you want using this Spark AI. Suppose right now, maybe you know we can see. Uh, right now, I'm just attending. You know, attending this workshop virtually. I'm addressing you guys through my camera and all these things. What if I my hologram is present in your college? And so if you are just sitting in your auditorium, what if my hologram is present in your college in your labs? And that is giving this session. Sounds fascinating. Yes, it's possible using the Spark AR. Spark AR is the best tool, is the easiest tool that I've ever worked on in my life. So now coming back to some, you know, some more uh, avenues of the Spark AR, some more benefits of the Spark AR. So it's like, so it's like it's all about the creativity. There are no prerequisites for getting indulged into the Spark AR. I just need one thing from your side is you know the fascination and to build something new. If you have the urge to build something new, you can create the Spark here in you know, just a uh, swizzle. This is the best part of the Spark here. Now, 
the question comes what are the coding experiences what language you should learn for making all these creations all these parker filters and everything there is no coding experience there is no technical background required to make all these instagram filters yes you have it at right guys there is no it's not you know coding required in order to make instagram filters you're just a beginner everything is available through visual coding you can do everything with the visual coding there is nothing you just have to put the right things at the right place so saga is just like a puzzle it's like a game where you have to you know, suppose you are playing a game where you have to park a car suppose driving the doctor driving your plane now in that uh, doctor driving park a car at a particular place exactly there is the same thing goes with this is the things at the right place you can make something created out of it that's it about this part here now you know when it comes about the uh, you know augmented reality at this part here so there was a hackathon organized by facebook and it is a very good hackathon engaging hackathon where you know millions of creators has participated and there was some incredible prizes for the winners if you hear the prizes your mind will get blown yes because first prize was $20000 not rupees i'm i'm saying $20000 was the first prize yes now the second prize was $50000 so this is the beauty of spark here you can earn some incredible amount of money using this spark here too this is totally up to your creativity how you are just putting the right things at the right place everyone so suppose uh, let's take an example so suppose you want to you know uh, go you want to you want to go to from your home you want to go to your college how you will go there would be a certain path or there will be multiple paths but not everyone has the same path everyone has a different way to reach that goal exactly same thing with this path here you have multiple multiple creative ways millions and finite creative ways to you know get that right spark here effect now enough talking about the spark here let's actually jump off to the spark here and let's see how you can make a filter so i hope you all have downloaded the spark ear studio so there are some basic requirement that you can say for the spark ear to learn the spark ear it's like spark ear is not available for linux users so if you are a linux user then please do it with your laptop or system and you can just run the spark ear in, in the windows machine next thing is uh, you know it's available for windows and mac users and for windows users i just want you know give uh, through some light on this point like for windows users if the ram would be great or that if ram if the ram should be is 8 gb plus then it's fine if it's 8 gb then it's also fine but if it is below 8 gb then we need an issue for you getting it i hope you all are getting this point now just you know let's just jump off to the spark here so if you guys can see my screen so this is what spark here so i'll just so this is what spark here looks like this is the spark Okay, workspace that you can see over here. If you will see, if you when you have open, you are so those who are having laptops with them, I highly recommend please you know open this park here with me. Follow the exact steps that I'm doing. So you have multiple experiences over here, like blank project, sharing experiences, video calling experiences. So what are these? So it's like suppose if you want to create a project from very scratch, then you have to go with the blank project. Suppose if you want to create a AR filter that is specifically for you know instagram and facebook then you have to you know uh, you have to go with the share and sharing experiences now those who use instagram and messenger i hope you all are aware that video calling experience is also available in the instagram so what you can do is just you can just by video calling someone through uh, you know uh, instagram you can just use those filters too this is the beauty of this park here yeah. now you can see i hope you can see this templates option here Uh, and I, uh, I hope you all are aware that what the word template means. Template is something like uh, the resources that has been provided to us already, so that you know uh, we can. Excuse me. So, template is something that you know given to us, that is that has been provided to us, so that you can you know use all these resources, and your learning phase could get smoother. This is why these templates are here, and all these effects are created by Spark Air community. Uh, you know uh, what we get the creators. We have a huge, huge community of three 
really sorry, six million, six hundred million students who are creating all these Spark ER assets for them. Now, if you see, if you just, if you want to, you know, get started with the Spark ER, and you don't have any idea, but you can, do, you can just choose any of the templates. Suppose something like this. You can choose the color portrait where you can just, you know, color yourself. You can just put something on your screen and all these things. So how we can do this? Just click on this, uh, you know, color portrait option. And as soon as you just click on this, it will open for you all. Now, if you will see, so this is the real time simulation. So this is me in the simulator, guys, if you'll see. So now I will divide it into my four. I have divided myself into the four parts. Now, this is the part you can just make all these spark here, assets. Now, so everyone has a different base texture. Everyone has a different base alignment. Now, question comes, how you can test all these filters? Suppose if something is looking good on me, doesn't matter if it will look good on some female's face. Because we are having a different face alignment, different face textures and everything. So how you can rectify this? You can rectify this using the, you know, video. Using the simulators that have been provided to you here. If you'll see, these are the simulators that has been provided. If you want, a, if you want to create a AR effects for some African people, you can just go with this template. If you want to create a AR effects for some, you know, uh, for a lady person, for a female person, then you can just go with this one. You can, the best part is you can just switch between all these templates whenever you want. So again, next is, you know, again, one girl with short hairs. Now again, one girl with long hairs and different face texture. Now a person who is having a little bit Indian kind of face alignment. Now, next is a person who is wearing a turban. Suppose now, what if I'll say if you want to create a beard filter, if you want to color your beard, how we will color it? If I'll check on this person, the beard person, now this person is not having a beard. So, how he's supposed to check all these and how he's supposed to perform all these spark activities? As simple as it, he will, he will just use this, this simulation. I hope you are getting it, but I want to you know, deliver. Now, if you want to make a plane tracking effect, you can just go with this one to this is the you know, simple plane tracking effect. If you want to search for some plane tracking effect, something like you know, where your back camera is in the motion, then you can just go with this one. And there are some more faces that you can check over here, something like this, something like this, something like this, a girl, you know, having a little bit uh, having distance from the camera. So these are the things that you can just go through and use it, use the Spark ER filters. Now, how you know uh, how these things are doing? How these things are working? If you will see, there is something here. This is okay. Now we understood this is a real time simulation. But what is this? So if you can understand the chronology behind the Spark ER, you'll be able to understand that Spark ER is something like how we will read and the you know how we will run all these Spark ER effects. Was the first thing that you need to run Spark ER effects. That is. That is what? Yes, exactly. That is something like we call device. You need a device in order to, you know, run all these Spark ER filters. You need a device, then what you need? You need a camera. If you will see, the camera is here. Now I'll zoom a little bit. If you will see, you, yeah, you know, if you are able to see this. Can you guys see this rectangle, the small rectangle over here? This rectangle depicts the, what you can say, this rectangle depicts the phone. The camera, the device that you are using. This is the rectangle that you can use, you know, for the. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Now, uh, next thing is, this is the the circular thing, you know, represents your camera. This circular thing depicts your camera. Now, you must be saying, you must be having this confusion, like my camera is not here, it's in the center, it just pops out of my foot. It doesn't matter. It is just an assumption that your camera is here. I hope you're getting it. Now, you must be wondering about what are these lines there. So, because of these lines, we are able to see this image. You know, this portion of this part, your thesis and everything. Just because of this, you know, these lines. How? Because if I will do this, suppose just assume. Okay, and let me just quickly show you that example. So, if I'm doing this, if I'm doing this, and I can't see the objects that are here now. If I will do this, I can't see the objects that are here. When I think such objects is there. So this is my vision. This is my vision of my eyes. So those lines are depicting your vision of the camera. Just make up your mind like your every you know a visual object has a vision. So that camera thing has a particular vision where it can see. If you place something outside outside of this 
vision then you won't be able to see the sense inside your face yeah right so these are the things that you have to you know make up make it. Nah, don't memorize these things these are just for your reference kind of thing for today session i'm just closing this standard because i just want to you know make some projects from very sketch so as i told you how you can just build a uh, project from very sketch just click on the blank on it i hope everyone is able to click on the blank project guys please let me know those who are done with this step just a second so if you will see this thing like uh, the real time simulation is here you can just switch between all these simulators and like like this now what if so now let's make a cost here how you can have your effect so what we are going to do we will you know make a clone of our face how we can make a clone of our face let's understand this for that purpose because we are making a clone of our face i need a face tracker now if you will see the understanding scene and understanding here you will see four key capabilities over here that are face tracker plane tracker target tracker and hand tracker now how you can just you know use all these trackers and what is the use of all these trackers so whenever i hope my screen is visible to you all so uh, can you see this face tracker plane tracker target tracker and everything so when you are making some effect a certain effect which involves your face which involves the tracking of your face then you need a face tracker now the next thing is when you are dealing with some plane tracking effect suppose if you are if you are making some nike effects and all these things what are the key things that you need you need a plane you need if you are just using your back camera you have to detect with your back camera using this plane tracker Okay. Now the next thing, the third thing that you can see, so target tracker is there. What is this target tracker? So uh, if you guys can understand, what is a target means? Target is something that is fixed. You can't change the target. So I hope everyone have used QR codes in the life, like in UPIs and you know in phone pay, you can use UPI and all these things. I hope you are aware of the QR code because QR codes are the you know in the book right now. so what is this qr code that's a target that you have to think so if you want to get some output of that qr code by scanning some that qr code if you want some that output that involves target tracker then you have to use target tracking capability so maybe if uh, it's there so i'll just try to show you up this thing next g mumbai so i'm just trying to you know show you something okay so can you see this uh, i hope guys you are able to see this so i'm just trying to you know uh show you one qr ar effect so that you can just you know uh, learn you can just get an idea what does the qr code and how we can use you know these qr codes and everything so i just want to show you here so just give me a second i'm just you know i'm just scrolling with profile so that i can just get something out of it so okay okay so these are all ar filters that you know these creators have created so we can just go with this option too can just follow these amazing super amazing guys which will help you out you know making some amazing super ar effects so i'm just trying to show you the first one thing that i need like this so right now i am not sure if this person has deleted his you know the, the ar effect of the qr code one but target tracker something where you have to you get a specific target and you just try to work on it now the last is hand tracker i hope you all know about the uh, you know marvel thing like marvel stories marvel movies i hope you all watch marvel movies so marvel is something you know i uh, everyone knows doctor strange suppose if you want to create effect where you are using your hand tracking something you are using these movements so you need a hand tracking capability 
getting a resume, a hand tracking capability in order to use that hand tracking effect. Now, the next thing are some planes, 3D objects are there, null objects are there, 3D objects are there, multiple face messages are there. So if you just click on this face message, you will see something like this. Now we can just, you know, you have created one mask. So if you want to give a color to it, you can just simply give a color. You can just play with it, something like this. If you increase the metallicness of this thing. So I'm just trying to, you know, uh, make it a little bit. Okay. So you can just make something like this. And uh, you know, okay, face paint is something that I need. So, so if you if you want to make a heart, you know, Hulk filter, how do you make something like this? A green Hulk that will show you that will you know give you this thing, like something like Hulk look, or if you want to increase the size, you can just increase the size like this. You can create a Hulk filter like this. Now, if you want to, you know, work with different, if you want to also color your skin, how you can use all these colors and, and you know, how. so if I'll just show you our advanced render option, okay. So if I will just try to show you up from this. So, okay, so red, green, alpha, blue, double-sided. So this is looking something like her, and this is looking something like. Yeah, now you can see this looks pretty much familiar about the her. So this is how we can just simply create a Hulk filter. You can just put something on your face, and you know just copy this face textures and everything. You can just you know um, what you can say. So uh, you know you can just. Uh, I guess I should do one object. Now, I just if I use none of it, then um, what you can do, you can just simply try and search on different things like face mask, canvas, rectangle, 2D stack, 3D stack, environmental light. There are lots, lots amazing things there. Now, if you want to, you know, put some 3D text over your screen, how will do is just click on the 3D text, click enter, and you will be able to see this 3D text over here. Are you able to see this 3D text? So the first thing that I will do is I'll just, uh, you know, uh, change this to, okay. I'll just try to place this 3D text over here. So if I just give some color to this thing, like something like um, color of blue. So you can see the color of text is now blue. If you will just rotate it, if you would want to just place it somewhere, you can just select your you know, text and you can just place it like this. And now you can just go to this text option. You can just write anything, whatever you want. I am super hulk. If you want to decrease the size, you can just decrease the size to like this. And the Super Hulk. So you can see something like this you can make. And there are a lot more things that you can do uh, using this Spark AR. Suppose if you want to, you know, uh, animate this I'm Super Hulk in such a manner. So you have to, I hope my screen is visible to you all. Yes, it's visible to you all. So you can see this magic wand over here. You can see this magic wand. Click on this magic wand and you can just click on Animate option. And just click on the float. Now, as soon as you will just click on the float option, you will be able to see something like this. It's just floating all the way around. These are the things that you can do using the Spark AR. So this is a basic property. Now, let's come to the materials property that you can see over here. Yes, what are the shader types? So first, we have is flat. Flat is something you when you when there is no reflection, whenever there is no reflection, you have to use what we can say, uh, flat. Now it's totally up to you how, suppose, if I just delete it, no, it's not the best thing. So, uh, 
you can see something like this now if you want to you know uh, process this you know learn about these shaded avatar these shaded icons so flat is something when there is no reflection i'm repeating again where there is no reflection there is a opaque body or opaque plane there you have to use flat shaded type now was for the standard where there is a reflection but it's a little bit but there is a where reflection exists that that's where when that's where i use the standard shaded type next is physically how where to use physical means so suppose uh, you know it depends suppose you are in a uh, what we can say suppose you are in a uh, okay so was the point physically suppose you are in a dark room just imagine you are in a dark room then the filter will appear differently now if you are in a if you are in a sunlight then the filter will appear differently so that's where where the environment presence defines your filter's quality that's where you use physically based it's already understood by physically based where you are physically present next thing is face paint so i'm using this for the face paint you can see my face is painted by some green kind of texture next is blended now you uh, i guess you all have some you know blender in your house this mixer grinder blender so what if you have to make a mango shape what do you do you will pour some mango you will pour some you know you will pour cashews you will put some sugar you will put some you know milk and all these things you will blend it you will mix it so when you have to mix two things then you have to use the blended shaded type now the shaded asset is something that you use when you are you know working with some advanced filters and retouching is something the last retouching is something where you are making a makeup filter it will just give you a good look it will just beautify your face this is where when you use the makeup filter now i'll just delete this delete text because i don't want it to be here now this face mask is okay now what if you know uh, you want to okay so what if you want to put something okay you on your background how we will put something on a background okay not the background let's make a clone of ourselves let let's make multiple hulls how we will make multiple hulls what you have to do you have to just go to the camera option click on the text extraction camera texture and click on the person segmentation now you have to create one more material for this if you so first of all we need a rectangle for this so i'll just quickly search for the rectangle i hope you can see this rectangle over here but it's covering a very small grid so i'll just i'll just increase the size of grid so you can see this thing so first of all let us go to this uh, i'll just um so what i can do i can just okay advanced center option is here now it's looking good so now it's in the you know previous this zebra kind of a layer is in the front now how you can just put something on this so what you have to do again you have to click on your rectangle this rename it to
have understood this part. So now what we are going to do is so suppose if you have if you have created this, if you want some you know uh, audio in your ER file on this ER file, suppose you want some uh, you know some song in this, how we will put a song? So you just have to click on um, import option. So I'll just search from the music asset library. So let's pick something from the asset library itself. So I'll just search for the music and sound. I'll just click on the music option and what's this? So I'm just importing all these all these assets here. You can see I have downloaded this. I have downloaded this audio. Now what you have to do? First of all, you have to add a playback controller. Just go to the playback controller and select for the audio playback controller. If you will just click on this, select the audio that you have imported. So this is the audio that I've imported. If I'll just click on this play. So and the loop. So loop is basically that uh, you know audio will play continuously. Suppose it's a 15 seconds video. So so it will just repeat continuously unless you are just stopping it. So well, now what you can do? But still, I can't listen the audio. So what we need, I need a speaker for that purpose. So I'll just simply import a speaker, click on this audio, and select the playback controller. This one. Now I can listen to what the audio have imported. I can just simply search, but the you know what is the was the you know essays that I've imported here. Now if we'll see this. Right now I'm just going to pause it because I play this button and I'm just going to use the pad editor a bit because you know it's playing continuously. And I don't want that to be very honest. So I'll just click on this play option. Audio playback controller and just um I'll just uh, okay so if you can see face landmarks so first of all I'll just add the face tracker here so first I'll just add the camera now if you can see so I also need a face tracker for this purpose because it should track my face so I'll just import this face tracker over here I'll just delete this camera I'll just you know face so what i can do is simply okay so these are the different landmarks and all these things that you can see over here so if i just click it to play So if I just simply click on the play option, or the playback controller and all these things, if I just simply click on the play option, whenever you guys blink, will blink this effect. So, yeah, so what you can do is basically you can just check it out. You can just, uh, I'm just, you know, searching for the Facebook option so that it can help me out. Yes, it's working. So I'm just 
uh, letting this bar to fill completely so that you can, guys can get an idea was what we have created today. So let's if anyone has any doubts, any queries, please let me know in the comment section. I'd be very happy to take up your doubts, guys. So I'm just still okay. I got the test link, so I'll just copy this. I'll just paste it inside the uh, you know sorry, in the comment section. You can just click on this link and you can just try it out what we have created today. This is the best part about this park. You just get a test link, you just try it out on your. So what I have created today is just uh, so I have put it something on my background, segmented myself. I have used an audio player. If you will blink, if you will blink, then you can just use uh, you know the audio as soon as you just blink it again. The audio will pause. So this is what we have done today. Now, if anyone has any doubt, any query, please let me know in the comment section. So no doubt, guys. That's great. You guys are doing super awesome. And you know, uh, how many of you has the spark? You have done this, done with this step along with me. How many of you have uh, done with this step? So I, that's a great majority of students have done with this. So now you can just try this testing out and you can just publish your AR effect. You can just use this AR effect too. Now the basic thing that I can you know share with you all that are that how to publish your AR effect. That is something like that is something very crucial. You should know because it's the most important thing. Now we have created the AR effect. How we will make it public for everyone to use. You have to click on publish option. And you have to record a demo video of yourself. You can see this demo video. I have to record this demo video. I'll just simply click on this option. I'll just pause it. This demo video should be under five to ten seconds. So this demo video should be under five to ten seconds. Now, as soon as this it uh, you know completes this preparing phase, you have to click on the save option. So let's just let me show you this. Let's wait for this. You know, you can see this now. It has been saved. I'll just click on the save option. And I'll click on the upload option. Now you have to wait for this bar to completely fill to 100%. And uh, because this is uploading your Spark Air filter that you have created into the Spark Air Hub. The Spark Air Hub is something where you know all these effects are being stored. So, and you can just, it's a workspace also where you can just watch your filters, what you have created, how many, you know, impressions you are getting, how many, uh, you know, opens you are getting, how many sharing, uh, how people are, how many, how people are using your AI effects. You can just see everything using the AI filter. So, if you will see now, this screen will appear in front of you. You have to give a unique name to your filter. So, I'll give, blank your eyes. I'll give a name to my filter. I'll just simply write, give your, you know, uh, blank your eyes. So that's it. Now it's fine. I want people to use my star, you know, filter on Instagram and Facebook. So we need all these three things for default. Now these are, there are something that you see, that you can see over here that is we call category. So just click on this category option. This uh, depicts how, what type of filter you have created. So just, uh, you know, choose. So I have created a PN filter. I have created a fantasy filter and something like this. So I have created a game because if you are blinking, then it's, uh, you know, if it's doing some stuff, so you can just make it like twice. And if I need to, you know, put some, if you can just, if you want to go with this I, thumbnail image, you can just go with this thumbnail image too. But I, what I want is I'll just use one thumbnail image from right here. So let's wait for it to replace the thumbnail image that I have used. You can see this is a thumbnail image that I'm using. So what's the next step is basically you just have to click on the submit option and you are done. You are seriously, you are done with making your first AR effect guys. This is how simply you can just publish your AR effect, submit your AR effect. And now I'm just sharing this Google form with you all. So this is the Google form. So in order to claim your AR, you know, meta certificate, you have to fill this, fill up this Google form. I'll guide you how to fill up this Google form that will just redirect you. I'll just uh, do it in a bit. So if anyone has any doubt, any query, please let me know in the comment section. Please. No doubts. That's great. That's super great. You are, you guys are doing super awesome. Now what I can do, 
Uh, okay, so let's wait for this Spark Your filter to get completely published on my Spark account. And this is where you know I can watch my filters and you know check out my filters that I have created. So if you will see, if you go to the effects option, you can see the filters that you have created. That uh, if you have to just log into your Facebook account, you can see the filter. These are the filters that I have created. So you can just work with it. You can just try it out and do anything whatever you want. So now. You can see this is the filter that I have created and it's in the review. Now, why is this so? Why my filter is still in the review process? So let me just tell you a quick scenario. So in your Instagram AR effects, you can't use new content. You can't use some intimate photos. You can't use copyright images. You can't use, you know, um, some misbehavior kind of stuff in your AR filter through your AR. You can't spread some, you know, uh, misbehavior through your AR filters and so these are the policies that has been created by facebook facebook take care of every spark care filter facebook personally review every spark care filter that you create so this is a hectic task i am not sure how the facebook is doing still i guess there are multiple algorithms to you know perform this step but they review every single spark care filter we have approximately 600 million plus spark care filter and how Facebook, everyone is creating is possible. If approximate 100 people, 100 million people are creating, you know, AI factor day, suppose 1 lakh people are creating AI factor day, so if, how much time, how much efforts it will require to review all those, you can just get an idea. But still, Facebook does this. So while you are making a spark AI effect, just mention this point, just keep this point in your mind to, you know, use the right assets that you are using, use the right textures that you are using, don't use some. So if I have created so don't use weapons, you know, AKM, go, you know, guns, hammers, and all these things in your spark effect. That won't, uh, you know, your Facebook uh, you know, effect won't be get reviewed or accepted. Now, after this process, you can see this is the AI effect I have created. Now you have to fill this form. The first is your first name, second is your last name. Just fill your first name, last name, your email, your contact details, your Facebook profile URL your college, your effect URL. So now your college after, so how to get this Facebook, Facebook profile URL first? So in order to get your Facebook profile URL, just you have to check for facebook.com, search for the facebook.com. And uh, so what you can do is just uh, click on your profile like this. Just click on your profile option and you will see this is the hyperlink that you have to paste. This is my Facebook profile URL link and you have to paste it here. Now the next thing is college. Now we have to use whatever college suppose you are from Anurag University. So you have to write here Anurag University. So next is effect URL. Guys, this, these are the very important steps. So please, uh, you know, pay attention here. How to get this effect URL? If you will just open your AR filter that you have created. So this is the AR effect link your eyes that I have created. So if you will see, there is an option called share. Click on the share option. Copy this link. Copy this link. Click on done and paste it right here. This is your effect URL. Now, what about effect ID and owner ID? If we will go to the Spark here hub and we'll just uh, check out these three dots at the top right hand side of your screen, you will see these three dots. Just click on the copy the effect ID from here, paste it right here. Okay. Copy the owner ID from here and paste it like this. Now, how about the demo video? So, the demo, you can just get these demo video by just go to details option and you will see this demo video here. Just go to these three dots and download your demo video from here. Download your demo video, upload your demo video here and click on submit option. You have successfully submitted your first AR effect and you have successfully claimed your first AR certificate provided by Meta. Now, if anyone is facing any doubt, if anyone is facing any query, So uh, like Mani, Odiraj, Harshal, everyone, those who are watching this session, if you guys are Kamsha, everyone who was, you know, having a doubt or any query regarding the Spark Air, how to submit your Spark Air effect, or you can just, you know, try it out. So uh, yes, okay, someone is asking how to, what are the resources that we can refer to. So uh, Mahek, what you can do is you can just check out the YouTube of Reskill. So that is something like this. Uh, let me just show you, show you quickly. So you just have to, you know, um, check for YouTube and just check, check out for YouTube and you know, just search for the Spark here. Just search for the Spark here and you will be able to see 
a bunch of filters created over here people so these are some you know 10 minutes 2 minutes 6 minutes one in one minute you can make a spark effect so these are the best part about the spark in 7 minutes in you know 14 minutes you can make a spark again in you know 2 uh, you know 5 to 55 sec minutes you can make a spark effect so all these things you can make in just couple of minutes so this is the best part of the spark here now those who wants to you know get in depth with the spark you can just search for the reskill reskill with triple l so i'll just paste the link in the bio too so if you will just click on the reskill uh, technologies and check out the you know the playlist option there is a one playlist that we you know that you can just see that is school of ar i'll just copy this playlist i'll just simply copy this uh, you know i'll just try to copy this playlist and share it with you so that you can you know master the spark ar things so if you can see in your comment section i have already i'm just sharing the link with you all just check this out school of ar program where you can you know uh, so you can just check this out school of ar program where you can you know uh, you know try you know get into depth with this spark ar learn some advanced capabilities from this spark ar and some more things that the spark ar offers so right now i'll just simply close it so i'll just simply try to close it and uh, so guys the last call from my side if anyone has any doubt anyone has facing any query please let me know i'm also sharing my linkedin profile so after this workshop if you are facing any query if you are getting any issues making your spark ar filters just do reach out to me i'll be very happy very very happy to you know uh, clear your doubts and queries so this is my linkedin profile and you can you can just check it out you can just help me you know uh, making all these awesome creations you can just work along with me too if you want to work on a, on a, any projects with me on spark ar you can just ping me on you know linkedin i'll just you know i'll just help you out you can just drop a mail i have already mentioned my mail in the the what you can say in the linkedin so you can just try my mail over there you can just send a collaboration email to me i'll definitely reply to you all so this is about the spark ar this is about me this is about the creations and guys trust me this is the best time to get started with the spark ar this is the best time to get started with the spark ar because if you uh, you know if you will start right now you will reach to some incredible you will get some incredible opportunities that are available in the metaverse field it's just like uh, you know uh, making a light bulb and you know you are the owner you have the of making that light bulb how much rich you can be because everyone will use this that light bulb spark ar is the light that you have to use it will spark your future so do use spark ar do use augmented reality make some awesome creations do tag reskill do tag meta do tag me on linkedin everywhere so suppose if you are creating any of the spark ar filter publish it everywhere just post a with your you know shareable link post it everywhere on your every social media handles why because that's how you can just get some good impressions on your spark ar uh, filter you could be in the trend Your AR filter could be in the trend. Maybe sometimes Virat Kohli will also use your filter. Maybe sometimes Taylor Swift will also use your filter. Some big celebrities like John Abraham, Rock, The Rock, and all these major personalities can also use your AR filters because these are available for everybody. So try to indulge in the spark of word, and I wish you all the best for your future. Thank you guys, thank you Anurag University for giving with me this you know uh, stage to you know facilitate all these students here. It was a very incredible experience for me. And I highly appreciate the you know efforts of the faculties that you are putting in, the students, uh, you know your dedication. Everything it's you know everything holds a star, different chance. And guys, you guys are super awesome. So thank you guys, thank you for joining in, and see you next. Thank you guys uh, for this workshop. I hope you learn something today. Uh, best of luck in future, guys. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. See you then, guys. Happy learning.